Hello everyone. So this video is about the important questions of microwave and antennas 21 EC 62. So modulized important questions I have listed here. See, let me tell you one thing. I have highlighted some of the questions. So you have to study those questions compulsorily. Okay. I mean, these are the most important questions. So there are high chances that these questions may appear in your exams also. So please don't skip these questions. Please study these questions more thoroughly. Okay. So yeah, let's start. Uh, for in module one, the important questions are uh, explain the bulk transferred electron effect in a semiconductor material and need diagram explain the typical microwave system. Assume the wave equation and its solution. Derive the expression for voltage and current at any point on the transmission line or derive the equations for voltage and current for a transmission line. The voltage and current or transmission line equation is very 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 important question please study this question properly and go then list the characteristics of smith chart uh, it's just like one uh, four marks uh, question that's it then uh, what is gun effect then with the help of a functional block diagram explain construction and modes of working of a gun diode also write its applications gun effect is also very important question so please study this question also then um, derive equations for reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient for a transmission line then uh, derive the equation for standing standing wave and standing wave ratio for a transmission line draw wave forms for standing wave pattern for a lossy and lossless transmission line so then uh, define reflection coefficient derive the equations for reflection coefficient at a load end and at a distance d from the load end so this question is also most important question so in module one the most important questions you have to study are uh, the transmission line uh, equation derivation and uh, gun effect and its uh, construction and working and all then reflection coefficient or derivation you have to study then yeah uh, characteristics of magic t then explain the significance of impedance matching in a uh, transmission line also uh, explain single step matching Again, I'm telling you, please don't skip the highlighted questions. These are very important questions. Okay, then see here I have listed some problems. Uh, means uh, uh, these problems I have taken from the model question paper. So you, these type of problems may come, but uh, like I'm not telling you to rely on the values. But these type of problems may come. The values may change. Okay, so just you, you can refer to these questions while you, you are studying. So. Uh, yeah please practice these type of problems then let's go to module 2 so in module 2 prove that impedance and admittance matrices are symmetrical for a reciprocal junction and what are attenuators explain different types of attenuators it is important question then define uh, derive the s matrix relation for e plane then uh, list the characteristics of magic t when all ports are terminated when with uh, matched load also derive the expression of uh, s matrix for magic t this is also a very important question then explain the need sketch construction and working of a four port uh, circulator important question derive the s matrix representation for multi port network important question most important question s matrix representation for multi port network and also define losses in terms of s parameters then explain symmetrical z and uh, y matrix for uh, reciprocal network discuss the properties of s matrix and explain the principle and working of precision time variable attenuator this is important properties also important and precision time variable attenuator is important microwave attenuator then uh, diagram and construction uh, working uh, and applications of isolator is important then uh, coupling what are coupling isolation factors in a micro strip directional coupler then I explain symmetry and unitary properties of s parameters i don't on microwave phase shifters here also these problems i have taken from the model question paper so just for like uh, these type of problems may appear in your exams uh, like don't rely on the values of these questions like just the type of the questions may appear okay then uh, from module 3 the most important uh, questions are um, like uh, def definitions they will ask for uh, directivity beam area radiation pattern beam solid radiation intensity aperture effect uh, and beam efficiency then describe briefly micro strip lines and its losses and also derive the expression for quality factor q 
क्यू एंड डिराइव द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ माइक्रो स्ट्रिप लाइन सो दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन आर दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री देन ऑप्टेन नियर एंड फार एंड ऑफ अ गिवन एंड टेन एंड कंपेयर द फील्ड डिस्क्राइब द ओमिक लॉसेस एंड ओमिक स्किन लॉसेस एंड रिलेशन लॉसेस इन माइक्रो स्ट्रिप लाइन सो दिस 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 विल कवर अंडर and its types or types of losses under this only these two will cover then uh, determine the directivity of the system if the radiation intensity is um, this is uh, u is equal to um cos to the power 3 theta okay then these problems here also uh, it is a uh, 2.5 meter square effective aperture and here also it is 0.5 meter square and here also it is um sin theta sin to the power 3 phi okay then this type of problems may appear then in module 4 state and explain power theorem very important uh, derivation i mean uh, state state and explain it is very important question then obtain the field pattern for two point source situated symmetrically with respect to the origin uh, two sources are fed with the uh, equal amplitude and equal phase signals assume distance between two sources lambda by 2 this is also important question distinguish between end fire array and broadside array then derive an array factor uh, expression in case of linear array of uh, n isotropic point sources of equal uh, amplitude and spacing important question uh, derive the expression for radiation resistance of uh, short dipole with uniform current or derive an expression for radiation resistance of short electric dipole this is also important question then starting from electric and uh, magnetic potential obtain far fire uh, far uh, Uh, it's a far field component of for a uh, short dipole and obtain the field expression of two isotropic point sources of uh, same amplitude and phase prove the directivity for a source with unidirectional pattern of um here it is cos to the power n theta where n can be any number uh, expressed as d is equal to 2 into n plus 1 and derive the expression to calculate bandwidth of a given antenna uh, in module 4 like um, uh, there was no like no problems were there in the model question paper so i have i have i have not included any problems from module 4 then in module 5 important questions like 1 uh, to 6 questions are very important questions um, so please study these questions that is derive the far field expression for small loop antenna most important question then uh, explain the constructional details of uh, yagi uda antenna is also very important then derive the radiation resistance of loop antenna and generalize the result for circular loop of any radius then briefly explain helical antenna with its helical geometry or write short note on helical antenna geometry this is also most important question and explain uh, different types of horn antennas explain different types of uh, um sorry i have repeated this again Yeah, explain uh, uh, different types of horn antennas. Then explain the constructional details for the following antenna, like uh, horn antenna and parabolic uh, reflector. Then calculate the aperture of a dipole antenna. Then uh, what is the approximate directivity of a rectangular horn antenna whose physical uh, aperture is eighty uh, one uh, lambda two? Okay, so it is uh, lambda square. okay this is uh, lambda square this is a uh, lambda square yeah then in this also uh, problems uh, like uh, this type of problem may appear uh, find the length uh, l h plane aperture so and uh, flare angle is given and you are asked to find e plane h plane beam width and directivity so these are the important questions so yeah again i'm telling you please study the highlighted questions compulsorily don't skip the highlighted questions uh, along with the uh, other questions also you have to study but highlighted questions are uh, most important okay so all the best for your exams uh, prepare well and uh, thank you